Hello, my name is Hype Andrew, and this is a gameplay slash review of Afterburner on the Sega Master System. No idea if the end of the place are going to be colliding with me or... This radar is... well, we're the military, so we go east. I can't tell which gun for you is mine or anyone else's. Well, that sucks. I can tell. There's a bit of stuttering. It's really hard to tell. Oh, I'm in stage two. Neat. These things haven't done anything wrong while I fire at them. This is a bit disorienting. I'm not sure if I'm turning or if I'm really turning left. I'm apparently doing a double barrel wall chase you. Oh. I've got one life left now. I'm gonna make it count. Like I said, I can't tell where the missiles are coming from. Hmm. Let's try again. Let's see if we can get a higher score this time. A lot of the detail to practically everything. Missiles are useful. Oh, you can shoot down missiles. Yeah, I know that. I genuinely have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just firing left and right with no regard to, well, anything. Oh, crud! I was so close to making out a stage and I'm not dying. See? That close. But then that plane had to ruin the whole thing. Incoming missile. 
No! Darn it. Oh, sure I dodged that. Colors are bright and vibrant. And the music is awesome. This game is not bad. I kinda like it. Now I could just stop dying to mistime missile dodges. Do a barrel roll! No! A barrel roll killed me! A barrel roll actually killed me! Sweet, I got the higher score this time. Alright, that's it for now. Afterburner is an amazing game. The music is nice. The gameplay is nice. Yeah, there's a bit of frame skip here and there, but apart from that, it's a pretty good game. Definitely play it again. And again. And again and again. This is Hyper Andrew signing out.